Me now to break down the president's speech a little more is former Democratic Ohio State Senator Capri Cafaro. Thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Good morning. Good morning to you. Obviously, a lot of people focusing on that first 12 minutes of President Biden's speech and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Uh, the passion, of course, uh, he's talking about how he will defiantly issue stricter sanctions on Russia, but it doesn't seem to be making Putin flinch, at least not yet. Do you think there's more that America could be doing signaling that they are supportive of Ukraine? I think we're in a very challenging position right now. I think we have made in the last week or so some significant moves, particularly as it pertains to things like SWIFT, the banking systems, uh, you know, credit cards ceasing operation in Russia, um, things like Apple ceasing sales in Russia. And so systematically cutting off not only uh, the government, the oligarchs, and um, but also, you know, the people that you know, ultimately are going to hopefully push back against the Putin regime. Regime. We, we are in a very challenging situation because we're dealing with someone who, you know, at least in Putin is presenting himself as, you know, a, a calculated madman who, you know, is, is talking about the potential of having nuclear arms on, on tap and, and trying to keep everyone on their toes. It seems to me one of the most useful things we can do outside of sanctions is to support the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian military uh, with as much uh, munitions, uh, lethal aid and training as possible. It is understandable that we don't want American troops out there at this point. You know, uh, we're not dealing with a NATO uh, incursion. Um, and Biden was very clear about this. If NATO, you know, gets encroached upon by Putin, we will be there. And we are on those front lines in those neighboring NATO nations. But I think at this point, what the United States can do is arm those brave people in Ukraine to make sure that they, as the, the one congressman who is congresswoman who was born in Ukraine said, they're they're not fighting with sticks. I mean, we have grand we have grandmothers throwing Molotov cocktails um, mm -hmm. and I, the, the Ukrainian people deserve better. When I saw that picture in my mind, I just thought, oh, my gosh. But you are speaking about a uh, Victoria Sparts, a Republican from Indiana yes. who is Ukrainian born. I, I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, but don't you have Ukrainian heritage yourself? That's correct. My grandmother is Ukrainian. So I think there are a lot of people in this country who obviously are feeling like they are a part of this story at a deeper level. Do you believe that President Biden and what he is saying and, and, and again, that passion during that State of the Union speech, uh, could this be a rallying cry for unity in this country at a time when there has been so much divisiveness? I think that this is the closest that we've come and it's unfortunate and it's really tragic that a tragedy uh, and a global, um, you know, uh, issue where we have democracy um, basically in peril. Um, that that is what it's taken for Americans to unite. It wasn't a global pandemic. It wasn't thousands of people dying. There are a number of other things that you know we have had, um, you know, over the last few years that has that have only further divided us when I think maybe in previous years they may have brought us together. But it was encouraging last night to see Democrats and Republicans coming to their feet on these matters of Ukraine. Yes, there's going to be outliers on both sides that feel that there's not going to be enough, um, you know, and that we could do more. They're going to criticize the Biden administration, um, you know, or vice versa. But I think that we are coming to a point where Americans realize our role in protecting democracy globally. And we're willing to take those sacrifices and stand up um, with our other allies. And I think that the United States is also starting to be seen as uh, you know, a good orchestrator of being able to bring together and hold together a very important coalition of allies in this in this moment, this very important moment, which I think will define the future of the power of the West um, in the balance of, of global power going forward. It is a, a big story uh, and a major crisis. And we thank you for your time, former Democratic Ohio Senator Capri Cafaro. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.